So here's an example from a translation system that many of you will have seen, which is Google Translate. In this case, translating from Arabic into English. And over the next few lectures, we will go through the main steps in building a modern translation system, in particular describing the kind of statistical methods that Google and other people use to build translation systems. So in this first lecture on translation, I want to go over a number of introductory topics. I first want to talk about challenges in machine translation, what makes translation a difficult problem. I then want to describe what I'll call the classical approach to machine translation. These are rule-based approaches which were used in the early days uh, of translation and uh, are still quite wide, widely used. Um, but this will give us a grounding in sort of the history of machine translation and approaches that people uh, thought about in the first few decades of uh, machine translation. In the final part of this lecture, I want to give a brief introduction to statistical translation systems. Statistical translation systems learn translation models from very large numbers of examples translations. They go back to the early 1990s. There was sem seminal work by researchers at IBM who um, developed the first statistical translation systems. And over the last two decades, there's been considerable interest in these systems, and statistical methods form the basis of many state-of-the-art systems, including, for example, Google Translate. So in this last part of the lecture, I'll give a brief introduction to, to statistical MT. And then over the next few lectures, we'll go into quite some detail in describing the models actually used in statistical MT systems.